What is going on, everyone? I am once again extremely excited to be bringing you another video or another series, another EE project, I guess you could say, right? It's where it's the, the video series I do where I actually take real world example projects and I actually like just do them, right? So the last one was a five watt power supply. This one is a 120 watt power supply in the form of 24 volts, five amps, right? So what we're looking at here is the finished PCB. Um, I'll show both sides of it. So what I'll be doing in this project is I'm going to go over, you know, everything from idea to manufacture, how, how I got from, I want to build a 24 um, volt, five amp power supply to here, is, here it is in front of us. Okay. Um, I'll be showing you, I'll show you how I built like a, a little spec sheet for our project, which is where we just lay out some preliminary details to help get us started. It's going to be things like what kind of connectors do we want to use? What is our input voltage range? What is, um, what are our output connectors? You know, things like that. So I'll kind of go over that stuff. Um, and then I'll kind of give, I'll show like an example block diagram, which is a good way to just watch how things are processed through the boards. So it's kind of like how you, you break the board up into its major parts, right? You have like your input side, your high voltage side, low voltage side. So we'll go over all that stuff. Um, then I'm going to show you some like a preliminary research phase. And that's where we basically select our flyback controller. So I'll show you how I go about doing that. And so the flyback controller is kind of where the whole project starts because you use the flyback controller's data sheet or design its application circuit and it gives you everything you need to know as far as picking your transformer and your MOSFET and things like that. So um, all of that is given in that data sheet. Um, I'll show you an overview of the application schematic, right? So going on, on the schematic capture side, I'll show you the entire process of designing this entire circuit. Um, I'll show you everything from how you pick specific component values, like how you pick this resistor value and this capacitor value, um, all the way to some other like tips and tricks in terms of like, you know, what should the voltage rating of your capacitor be or what package size should your surface mount components be. Um, in this project, there are also a couple of circuits that are not mentioned in the data sheet, but are still, you know, um, like used all throughout power supply design. So things like an EMI input filter, we'll show you how I designed that. I actually have a design guide video up on my channel already. You guys want to take a look at that before you, you, uh, watch this entire series. But yes, this would be an example of how I designed an EMI input filter. Uh, another one is an, another example is an RCD snubber circuit. So I actually have another design guide, a uh, video out on, on an RCD snubber. So you can kind of learn what that is. And I'll show you exactly how I designed that one. Um, and some other things I guess I want to say about this project. So remember, I don't know if you remember the theme in the five watt power supply circuit was let's just get started, get something down on paper, do something quick and dirty and just get it over with. Right. And then what we want to do, we want to build off of that design. We want to just start making progress as engineers. We want to, to take on more complicated designs. We want to, uh, you know, further develop our skills in terms of schematic capture and PCB design. So that's why I specifically selected this project or this uh, power supply design because this one features a something that you'll run into a lot if you do a lot of power supply design, and that is going to be a feedback circuit that utilizes an optocoupler, right? So this is something that's be brand new to us. And so what we're gonna have to show this it's relatively complicated, right? If you've taken feedback systems, so we're gonna be talking about like uh, gains and transfer functions and poles and zeros and all that stuff. So um, like I said, we're, we're just, we're pushing ourselves as engineers, I think. And again, this can be quick and dirty, right? We're like, what I'll say about this is this is about as complicated of a power supply as it gets. Like this is like, like this is, we're, I mean, this is only our second power supply, but we're already literally, this is about as complicated as it gets. Um, so once you get to this level, we just got to keep, you know, repeating repetition after repetition after repetition. And the next thing you know, after we do two or three of these, 
we're going to be, you know, as good as the best power supply designers um, on the planet, right? So that's kind of what I want to, that's kind of like the theme. I said, we're going to just keep pushing, trying to keep getting better, um, you know, and just, and, and just keep messing up, right? I mean, because this is practice, right? This is not, you're not, this is, we're designing this stuff on our own. We don't actually have to be giving this to our boss or anything like that. So um, it's okay to mess up, right? Um, so yeah, some other thing I guess I want to cover too is, so I'll give you as much detail as I possibly can about how I go about doing an actual circuit design, right? So how these components end up on this schematic sheet the way they are. Um, but I also want to try to give as, I want to focus this time around um, and give just as much detail on the PCB design, right? So I want to tell you like why I routed something the way I did, why I placed the components the way I did, um, why I use a certain PCB trace, why I use a certain amount of layers on my board, all that stuff. So I want to go just as in detail um, on layout stuff as I do on, on schematic capture stuff. So hopefully we can learn just as much about that stuff. Um, yeah, so we'll kind of incorporate some design for manufacturing techniques in here. And we'll talk about that. And I have a design for manufacturing guide or you know, Altium tutorial on DFM. Um, you can go watch that as well. So like, like I said, a lot of my videos, I like them to sort of build off of each other, right? Um, so if you watch every video, great. That's, that's the design of my channel is if you watch every video and you know, that's, that's kind of where, where we're leaving off, right? Um, so yeah, so then we're gonna wrap it up and we'll kind of show you just kind of putting a bow on things, doing a design rule check, and then we're gonna generate those output files. So like I said, the goal of this project series or these the series of videos is going to be going from idea all the way to manufacture and i'm gonna try to tell you everything in between so uh buckle up and uh get your get your pen and paper out and you ready to take some notes so uh, but yeah i hope i can i can help you out so yeah um that pretty much wraps it up for this this introductory video um yeah so i hope i hope uh you learned something from this and like i said drop a like if this is something that you think you'll you'll benefit from um, and definitely subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the rest of these videos. I'll be pumping them out, you know, um, not quite daily, but you know, every couple of days I'll just be posting a new one. So yeah, just subscribe if you want to just stay up to date with all, all my video, um, all my videos. So yeah, so thank you so much. Um, and I'll see you on the next video.